today is May 16th, 2020. It's been a long haul through many weeks of cold weather here. I haven't seen in my colonies in a long time. It's, uh, I believe, about 13, 14 degrees here. And these bees are quite happy with that temperature. I need to check at least on specific colonies here to see how they're developing. I need to get an idea of how the big ones are doing and there's a lot that we're struggling so I need to get an idea how they're doing too. I may put some of my smaller colonies on top of some of my larger colonies to boost them. So if I do that I'll go through that as I, as I achieve that. So without further ado, we've got the smoker going. Yes, we've got gloves, a hive tool, and uh, we're going to tie right into this. So hope you enjoy some of the video. I've written numbers on top of all my hives here. <clears throat> some are getting a bit weathered. This is a four, this is a four. That's a two, and that's a three. They're not hanging off of that tail. Man, I had this new marker four. It doesn't look like a four initially. Here I've got two patties as a test. This is bee pollinate. This is the stuff I mixed up myself. They've really taken to that. This one, they don't seem to have taken to at all. And uh, it looks like it's getting a bit dry. That's interesting. It's going to be a test different patties, you know. So this, <laughs> they're not exactly a four. One, two, three, four seams of bees. Just do a check and see how the queen is performing. At one time, this five deserved the ranking as a four. So I kind of wonder what it's going on. A big strong colony and the queen just died or something. We've got sealed brood that's emerging. I've got some older open brood here. I always watch for the queen, but not what I need to find. Having a queen is one thing, having a queen that's performing is entirely something else. And there she is right there. I can get my gloves off. I'll mark that queen because that's a 2019 queen. I love this man like one handed queen catcher. Just have to make sure the queen is up in it. And you close the door. Okay, so she's in there. She's got a few workers in there with her. And I have to go over to the other side and get my pen. That's one of my 2019 queen production queens. Hopefully I can do this so you can watch. So the door is closed and now I need to push that plunger up. The workers should emerge. Take my pan cap off. The workers should come up through there. I'm not so much concerned with them. I'm watching the queen and I want to just pinch her up on there. I'll flick the workers out of the way. Okay. All right, girls, 
and we'll just get some green paint on her. You can really push up with this tool because the pad under the queen is so soft that it just cradles her. It won't let you push too hard. Even that worker that was caught up here in the corner, she's fine. Okay. I really don't know what you can see. Hopefully you can see that. So I'll leave her in there for the rest of my inspection. And I know I'm not going to damage her with what I'm doing. I prefer to wear gloves. Some people don't. That's fine. I hold nothing against them. some patterns going here but definitely she's been yeah see she's she's still laying a little haphazardly though I think this cold weather has kind of messed up her groove so that's got honey pollen and honey Less than a week to go with his apple bar, so we'll leave that in there until it's time. Put this one here. A lot of bees on this side. There's lots and lots of bees here. Lots and lots of feet. And the all-important drone frame. I love these things. They tell me so much. I've talked about those in my other videos, so I'm not going to go into that right now. Okay, so this, I mean, this colony is doing fine. Uh, population isn't very high. Got all the patty they could possibly want. I don't seem to like this one at all. I'm not sure what that's about. Okay, we'll try and get the Her Majesty back in here. Nice, nice green crown. Oh, there she is. One down the hole. Disappointment for something I had marked as a four. That pail is empty. Okay, this four looks like it might be a little better. Four. It's also a 2019 queen. Be careful when you're wearing shorts. So the bee pollinate is gone. The other patty that I had in here 
they're working on. But as a last resort, it seems. Bees everywhere. All the way through. This is definitely a nice colony. These all the way to the outside. It's heavy. They've put a lot of that syrup in here. And there's capped feed there as well. Don't need the S word to happen. So my story frame is telling a very, very good story. Look at this. I'd shake the bees off to show you, but that's going to put bees everywhere. So this is my, what I call my drone friend. This has got a half a sheet of foundation in the center. So you can see that she's laid that up, largely worker brood. They've got drone brood here, drone brood here. Same thing on both sides. So this tells me a story that this hive has excess. They have lots of resources. The queen is laying well. They're optimistic about the future. And this hive is going to contribute to my mating drones here in just a little while. Some of those cells are still open, so I'm going to say that those drones are going to emerge in 10 to 14 days, is my guess. So I can, you know, I can use that kind of a uh, bit of information to maybe time my, my queen rearing. 10 to 14 days, that's that's the 25th to, to June 1st. So keep your eyes out for the queen. If, uh, if I see her and she's not marked, I'll give her a nice mark. Nice green queen for 2019. Blue Queen for 2020 doesn't rhyme quite nicely like that. So there's larva, there's cap brood this side. This hive is doing very well. This would actually be a very good candidate for to put a weaker hive on top. I'm gonna smoke those down just a little. so that I can work without mashing these too much. I see drones walking around, and that's my cue. I've learned from uh, experienced beekeepers, that's my cue. I can uh, begin to graft when I see drones walking on the comb. Lots of drones on the bottom. I've got some cups here. Uh, my opinion, an empty cup it means nothing. But there are cups, no less. I'm gonna just curtail their activity with these cups. They've got some drones here, so I'll leave them with those. This is my main objective here today check these big ones. Make sure they're not getting any swarming ideas or anything. I, I wouldn't expect it at this date. However, they've been closed up a long time and I have not seen them in a long time. Recently I've heard people say, my bees are making drones, they're gonna swarm. I don't ascribe to that at all. To me, the building of drone cells, the, the laying of drones and the raising of drones does not mean your bees are going to swarm. In fact, I think that's a very healthy place for the bees to be. You've got a nice colony that's doing well, it's feeling good. Strong colonies, healthy colonies, lay drones, 
strong colonies also swarm. But colonies laying drones doesn't mean they're going to swarm. It means they're on that path. You know, it means they're doing well. It means they're growing. But I don't describe to the idea that that's one of the preparations. I just don't like to see new beekeepers panic. Oh, drones. The bees are going to swarm. No. No. We need to look for other things. Okay. This is going to be a day where my queens are sitting on the outside down here in the back. Well, Paul in there, which is really nice. I think this hive is definitely a candidate for boosting hive. Make a colony. Hive is the house, the colony is the bees. Drone frame, I try to run that in position three. And that's another cue that that frame gives me. That if my queen is laying outside the drone frame, meaning is she laying on number two or even number one particularly that that's on this side she'll always lay in the thermal center so so the center of the colony is, is more over here and so she'll lay this way and then fill these last like this is all honey I haven't done anything with that really so she's laying on those two frames on this side doing really well. I'm going to leave this open. So if I'm contemplating placing this hive on that one for the boost, I have to determine to the best of my ability why this colony is struggling. Because if they're struggling due to a failing queen, making that maneuver is a a waste of resources. All I'm going to do is pull down that good colony for practically no gain. So she is. So we'll see if we can mark her as well. as well. It's happening. So they got they got it going on just in a small way. This I'm gonna I'm gonna try and uh, combine this. Not combine. I'm gonna try to boost it with that one.
one sheet just perfectly covers that. I don't get stung a million times. pollinate better than other stuff. It's pollen. This is my drone frame. So they've got some drones on the, the left side here. And there's some here too. Actually she's laid most of it up. So this colony is feeling good. They've got everything they need. Okay. Cold weather did nothing good for my weaker hives. Lots of pollen in that frame. My goodness, that's awesome. That'd be a good frame to take for a for a cell builder. Give them this patty they don't seem to care for, and the one they do care for. Again, I just need to determine best I can why they are as they are. They're taking the patty. So that means they're brooding. Things look healthy. Healthy but slow. She's there. The green 2019 queen. might have really jumped the gun on. I stuck a second on this a while ago. Holy smokes. I don't know what to do with doubles now. I haven't run there for so long. She's got this laid up. Son of a gun. This is brood here. Sealed brood. stages of larva. She hit this pretty fast after I put it on. She's got a lot of sealed brood up here. I want to shout out to Krista and Aaron. That would be in BC. I understand they've been watching the videos. Give you a little lesson here. Hopefully you can see this. So you can see, you can see this here is, I'm gonna call this honey. It's probably what they packed away from the sugar syrup, but that's where they would put the honey. They put the honey in an arc over the brood. So it's hard for me to see what you're seeing. You see this big guy here? That's a drone. That's a male. Harmless. He can't sting. He's got no stinger. And the little ones are all the little female worker bees. 
You see this drone? He's brand new. He's very hairy. Let's see? Very furry there. Great big eyes. So you can see the brood here. Goes all the way out to here. There's open cells with the little white larvae in them. And on about the ninth day, the bees cap that. And that's what's in here. This is each one of these cells is a baby worker bee. These uh, bullet shaped cells are baby drone bees here. So that's a little bit of a lesson for today. So thanks for watching the videos. This off here. A little bit heavy. Not too bad. Anxious to see how much brood she has going on at the bottom here. So quite a few drones. I don't know if the empty cells are emerged or Maybe they're emerged and that's why I'm seeing so many drones on the comb. I'm not going to shake the bees off, but you can see in this portion is all worker comb, these flat cap cells. And in this portion is all of these bigger bullet shaped cells here and even here. Not as many, but they're still there. are the fellas. And only a strong colony will make fellas. That's nature's way of propagating the strong. If you're not a strong colony, you don't get to make drones to mate with the queens. She's been laying down here recently, so she's she's using the center all the way up again to be expected. I think I've seen what I need to see. They've got lots of space. They're not thinking about swarming. They're doing good. They have resources. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a box of uh, mini frames on this and see if they'll draw it. You hear a lot of ideas about smoke. Oh, they think the forest is on fire and everything, whatever. I don't know, maybe they do. But to me, smoke is a smoke is a, a mask. I mean, just like yourself, if you smell smoke, you can't smell anything else. The bees all communicate through the bees communicate by a scent pheromone. And to me it's kind of the difference between being stung by one bee or a thousand bees. smoke disrupts that. Okay, so here, got these cute little frames I made. I'm not sure if this will work through a queen excluder. Now I'm thinking maybe I should take that queen excluder out again. Bees don't want to go through a queen excluder unless they have a reason. And foundation is not a reason. Okay, so you see these float in here? I would, I'd like them drawn nicely. So I'm going to go through them, place them in here in a nice fashion. Because 
these and we'll glue them in place as they go. Okay, let's hope they tolerate that. A little bit of syrup left in here. And again, they've polished off the bee pollen and they haven't touched the other. Somebody messed up here, eh? We get three out of our strips in. Wow. Shouldn't have any mites. Oops. Okay, so this looks like a pretty strong colony to me. However, there is not one drone laid up in this drone frame. Okay. They're actually even filling it here. They're filling it with syrup. They're filling the center. They're pollen. So what's going on? They seem to have a lot of bees. I haven't seen any brood yet. <laughs> uh oh. Might be looking at a combine. Combine this one with a weak one. I see no brood yet. I'm halfway in here. No brood. So here we got a queenless hive with a really good healthy population. So we have options here. Let's steal a frame of young larvae from another hive, notch it in an OTS fashion. And then they would raise a queen from that. Good option. I'll take 30 days off. Oh, they're bringing pollen in, they're packing away the syrup. Okay, so, buying this with a weak colony. You see how that drone frame made that, told that story? A nice looking colony, good population. Look at that pollen patty though, that pollen patty has been in there for two weeks. We're gonna do a newspaper combine and then we'll put that back in. Just clean this. No. I never read the newspaper. I pick it up from time to time so I get paper for my smoke. <laughs> Wonder if my local media is suffering so. Check this just to make sure they actually have a laying queen. Not much sense in combining a good population with a queenless hive. One queenless hive on another. It's kind of dumb. It looks like they're a good little colony. Oh, yeah. Got some brood going. With the queen. Try this again so you can see it. Gotta hold it up. OK. 
Okay, so the workers can get through that slotted little door. Queen is on this side here. And she's, there she goes. She was upside down. So I need her to straighten out, there we go. We'll just get rid of those workers. We got a little baby bee, a little fuzzy one. A little fuzzy girl here. They're hairy little things when they're born. Okay. She can't get through there. She'd like to. I'll let it sit there a few minutes so she dries. Soon the workers can clean that fresh paint off. There she goes. When you pick up your glove and there's a bee in the end of it, that's not good. Okay, the drone frame, the story frame. What's going on? Okay, they've got honey in the middle. They've got drones on the way on the outsides. Bees crawling up my legs. Uh -oh. And we have pretty developed cups on this side. Nice brood pattern there. Nice brood pattern there. The larva isn't swimming. It's uh, it's a bit dry, so the bees definitely have been holding back to feed in this cold weather. There's the queen. Green queen for 2019. Let's see if you can get a look at her. Right here. She's got a bit of her paint rubbed off. Okay, so this frame has got something a little different. They've got worker cells. It's a little spotty. They've also got some drone cells here in the middle. Here. A few over here. That's not necessarily anything to worry about. That could simply be that the cells in this comb were stretched out and so that's what she laid. If she comes across a larger cell she's going to lay a drone in it. That one little patch on that comb is not sufficient to worry about. If that's a pattern here throughout the hive then we might have a problem. But I do not see that as a pattern. So I am not worried about that at all. They are tiny. See, this is the problem. She got this nest all the way out to here in the warm weather. And then it cooled off and it all died. They didn't have the population to keep it warm. Same thing happened here, eh? The other nest is all the way up there. All you need is one really cold night on these small colonies. And that's what happens. Lose all that momentum. I'm coming. Dispose of them later. Kind of small. Well, you know, they're not too bad. Not the 
the smallest. Four frames of bees. Yeah, they don't need a, a boost. This is my own 2019 queen. Okay, looking good. This might work for a donor to boost another. Right full of drones on each side. So, that tells me these ladies have energy to burn. She's got her second round laid up there now. You can see when there's a ring of cat brood and a patch of young brood in the middle. A long black one. Boy, she could use and repaint the field a little more. Sure, sting me in the sock just before I go pick up the queen. Okay, time for a new paint job. I'm not sure why that one didn't last very long. But it's been a long winter, I guess. Oh, I got a drone in there. Oh, good. Drones can't come out through the little slots. Okay, big guy. Queen and a worker and a drone there. This insulation throws me off. To see where the edge of the box is. Ooh. Well, there's something there. cells in the thin light. You can see eggs. So I'm going to say this is worth saving. It looks good under the cover too. It smokes. Dip that down. Check for, check for cells. <laughs>
took in all, all those colonies out there. <clears throat> There's about 65. And they're certainly not close to swarming. I just really want to keep an eye on that. There's a few quite strong ones, but they're not close to swarming. Our season is so late that uh, I really didn't expect to see signs of swarming. But, uh, you know, I really needed to get an eyeball on that and make sure my expectations were founded. What I managed to do <clears throat> is I managed to put all nine of my boxes of mini frames on top of strong colonies to be drawn. Hopefully we get dandelion soon and they can draw that up on a dandelion flow. And I also set uh, a few, I don't know how many, three or four uh, small colonies on top of strong colonies in order to boost their ability to lay and progress. That's a trick I learned from, actually a few people have told me about doing that. I know Ian has made videos about doing that and there's a few other beekeepers in the area have uh, mentioned that that's a, a very good maneuver to make for these small colonies. And that's about all I did. Uh, I did a patty check all round. Probably added patty to half of them. Uh, those shims and sugar cakes that I added earlier, I took all that off. Uh, some of the sugar cake had actually been consumed, which was nice to see. That, you know, it wasn't just a, a move for nothing. You can't leave those shims on too long. They start building comb up in there. And a few of them had done just that, so I had to clean that up. So that's all taken care of now. Everybody has patty. Everybody has syrup. They either have syrup or they've just finished their syrup. So many of the colonies that have taken their syrup, they've actually stored it in the frames. So that's fine. They've got good, good uh, feed stores in their hive. And that's about it for today. Uh, I'll leave you with a little bit of horsing around with my tractor trying to spread that very coarse rock out there. Uh, it's it's really just a base for a road I want to build there. Uh, so it's not, it's not like I'm going to need to drive on it just the way it is. And when it rains, a lot of that rock will kind of sink into the mud anyway. It's just to help bolster the base. That's uh, kind of a long-term project. That's why I sort of did it off to the side. Uh, so I still got somewhere to drive in the meantime. So I hope you enjoy that and uh, stay well. And I'm going to say stay home, but uh, you know, we're, we're starting to loosen some restrictions here. And that's nice to see. Manitoba is down to 25 cases or so. So that's really, really good news. We need to stay the course for a little while longer. And I hope our governments agree with me in that statement. So stay well and stay safe and have fun.